13th play of this drive coming up. Jones rolling out now under pressure, looking at a float one up, and it is going to be picked off by Cam oh. Hayward right at the goal line. So Cam Hayward comes up with the interception for the Steelers. Bam, bam, cam, cam. Godzilla Hayward picks up where he left off in 2019, wrecking the Giants' whole damn life. Assisted by Big Bud's contact on the quarterback, the ball floats high towards the end zone, which usually spells disaster for the offense. Awesome play by the $75 million man. Game changed. Four and two, the ball at the 15-yard line of the Steelers. The Broncos trailing by five. Driscoll will bring Deshaun Hamilton in motion to his right. Driscoll back, looking to his left. Pressure comes, and down he goes! Sacked by Terrell Edmonds! Wow! Oh, man! What a play! That's right, Terrell Edmonds with the play of the game. Look, if you take anything away from this game, it should be, I want every Steeler to be successful. Come on, guys, after seeing what happened with Bud, do you really feel we need to be that hard on a guy like Terrell Edmonds? Sometimes it takes a while. I have no idea why they didn't want to block him, but still, the most impactful play of the young Steelers' career. Goes with a long count, gets the snap. Big brush, oh, he's sacked oh, inside the 15 yard line. 2020 Defensive Player of the Year and current best Watt, TJ absolutely mummifies both a tight end and tackle who might as well be soup cans, and he derails the Texans' last best chance before it gets started. And goes empty again, third and eight at the Eagles' 35-yard line. He directs traffic, making sure everybody's on the same page with three receivers left, two to the right. The snap. He throws it down the field. Oh, that is Chase Claypool into the oh. end zone for a Pittsburgh Steelers touchdown. Wide open from 35 out, and Ben kind of knew it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I've been saying it all day. This is our fourth time saying it, but that's top shelf Canadian bacon he, and sizzling. He was looking at Chase Claypool the whole time. No need to drool. That's just Chase Claypool. Unbelievably, in the most important moment of the game, the Eagles go cover two with the closest defender to Claypool being a hopeless linebacker who might as well be a potato, and it's ball game for the Berg boys. You can actually see the exact moment Ben notices the coverage to change the play, and you can see the exact moment where the old gunslinger knew, for sure, that he was back. Kareem Hunt is the lone setback, slot left. Slot man motions. Kareem gets oh, the call, he no. did Get not make it. Get out of town. The black and gold say no, not today. The Steelers' ceaseless control of the line of scrimmage was the story of this game. They absolutely demolished this run, and the number one running team in the league had no chance whatsoever to convert. Seems innocuous, but had Cleveland put a drive together here and made it 24-14, we could have had a hairy fourth quarter on our hands. No dice. The ball at the Pittsburgh 27-yard line. It's do or die for the Titans, who have one timeout in their pocket. Now they're going to bring the kicker, Guskowski, out for a 45-yarder. Guskowski in this range this year as he kicks it on its way. The kick is wide right. It is no good. They ain't all got to be pretty. Guskowski misses the tying field goal by a few inches. What can I say? Sometimes 10 straight bounces can go against you, but the 11th bounce still has a 50-50 chance of going your way. Lamar Jackson in the empty set. On fourth and three, he communicates an audible. Wide side to his right. He's back. He wants to run. And he gets nowhere. Did he get the first down? Vince Williams said no, and I think the ball's going to go over on downs. Yes, and it does. Robert Villain picked up the ball. Wow. On fourth and three, in a gotta have it moment, the Pittsburgh Steelers stopped the greatest running quarterback in the league for a two yard gain and a fumble. You can talk about the first half and first part of this drive all you want, but when it matters most, don't run at my team. 
Gilbert in the shotgun. Dallas, 6 of 11 on third downs. He's back with a pass into the end zone, intercepted by Minka. He brings it out to the five, tackled at the eight-yard line. A big takeaway for Minka Fitzpatrick with a marker down. Great players do great things, and just when they needed it the most, a little pressure causes an errant throw, and the best free safety in football is there to gather it for an absolutely game-changing interception. A little Minka magic at just the right time. Second and 10 at the 11. Pumps once, fires over the middle. Chase Claypool with a leaping grab in traffic for the Steelers' 11-yard touchdown. Because he's very clearly holding his team back from greatness, Roethlisberger stands in the pocket, pump fakes, and fires it in for his third score of the day and the one that would ultimately put this game out of reach. Second down nine for the Jags at the 11 of the Steelers. Shotgun snap, Luton back, big rush, batted into the air, and the pass is intercepted. Minka has it at the 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and he's knocked down by Robinson as he gets out over the 35-yard line near the 40. I say it every week, but with this defense, if they keep things in front of them, eventually bad things are going to happen for the offense, and happen they do as Luton's pass is tipped at the line by Alu Alu, and you already know who's going to be under it, just like a little bit of mustard under a burger. It's Minka Fitz who snatches it and brings it back to the 40. I don't need to say anything about the greatness of 39 at this point, but this game is officially changed. Third and six for Ben, shotgun snap. Floats a pass down the field and, oh, what a catch at the 33-yard line. James Washington took it away from a would-be defender. And to me, that's strong hands. In the biggest of spots, Large Benjamin coerces our collective hearts to jump into our collective throats in just the way that only he can. And his man, heretofore known as the president of combat catches, it's James Washington bringing that thing down when the Steelers needed it most for a critical first down conversion. Ben stays in the gun. Shotgun snap. He pumps, throws it down the middle of the field. That's Juju Smith-Schuster pulling it in for the Steelers' go-ahead touchdown. From 25 out, Ben threw a strike, and Juju took care of the rest. Julian Blackman, the free safety, says, where did he come from? After a week of so much consternation about our favorite TikTok influencer, after so much was said, mean-spirited or otherwise, that 23-year-old kid with too many names runs a hell of a damn route, and that legendary quarterback who we were ready to send out to pasture just two quarters ago hits him with a high, and I mean Snoop Dogg-type high, level pump fake and throw, and unbelievably, impossibly, insanely, the Pittsburgh Steelers are in the lead 28-24 to with half a quarter to go. Hey, if you like the channel, please consider subscribing to us on Patreon to support what we do. I have a big slate of off-season content planned, and I would love to experiment with all kinds of new possibilities for you guys. And if you have a Twitch, follow me there too. But most importantly, just keep watching the show. See you next week.